In today's video, we're going to be going over how to beat Cover 4 in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down some Cover 4 stuff. But if you've never been to my channel before, my channel is designed to give people tips and strategies and concepts that are going to help them get better in Madden NFL 21. And so if you want to get better in Madden 21, one of the things that I do want to ask you to do is to join our Discord. Discord is a great, great opportunity because it's not just a one-way conversation, right? This video that you're seeing right now is me giving you a tactic or a tip in the game that's gonna help. But what Discord is, it allows not only for you guys to conversate with me, but it allows for our whole community to come together because you can get answers to questions, not just from me, but from anyone that comes to my YouTube channel uh, or that's a member of that Discord. And so I just love Discord. I think it's been such a great step forward for my community personally and for me, it's helped me get better. And so. If that's something that you want to do, you can join that. A link is in the description in this video. Now, cover four beaters, essentially what it comes down to, this is what you want. You want a post, a deep post, this PA zone shot play, a deep post coming from one side of the field. And then on the opposite side of the field, you want to have a deep crossing route or a deep in route. And what's great about this PA zone shot play from single back trips, we're in the Atlanta Falcons playbook, but it's in several playbooks. This is going to kill cover four because you not only do you have the in route, but you also have the crossing route. So we're going to show you that right now. And all I, all I like to do with this is I like to block the running back, and then I'm just going to bring Jones in into this compression set. You see you're going to get this. This is what you're going to look. And what's going to happen is the deep yellows are going to basically go over the top, and you can pass like that right over the top there, and Julio Jones is going to get a nice – uh, open dot. This is again, this is the concept. Now, you don't always have to motion in Jones. You can leave him uh, outside as well here, but we'll just show you this. This route does work. It, it just swaps him over the top. Now, you do need a little bit of time, as you see there, Ryan, um, or as you see there, the, the sheds are unreal in practice mode. But when you get in a head to head game, as long as you're blocking seven, you should see you should have plenty of time with this. But literally, pass lead that up and over the top to the right. And there you see there, Julio Jones is going to make that play for you. So that is a beast of a cover four beater. It's the best possible way. If you know they're going to, if you know you're going to see just straight cover four, uh, a lot of people like to do that at the start of games this year. Just passing that hard to the right, and you're going to see you're going to get that nice one, over the top one play score. You do want to click on your receiver. You do want to rack catch him. But this is a very very simple concept. It's called a Portland's concept when you have an in route on one side and a deep post on the other side. But that is literally the basic premise for beating cover four uh, in this year's game. It's really the premise for beating cover four in general. But you see here that deep zone is not going to come over the top there. You're going to get that nice over the shoulder grab and you are going to get a one play touchdown against cover four. So hopefully this was helpful to you, those of you guys that face a lot of cover four. I know I face a lot of cover four. So I use this concept all the time to move the ball down the field. Now you can do this from multiple formations. This is just a concept that can be applied to all sorts of stuff. And so anyways, guys, I just wanted to let you know also that we will be live streaming tonight. So if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. That way you're going to be notified when we go live. We've got a couple more videos coming for you today, but this is how to beat Cover 4 in Madden 21. If you want to learn how to beat other coverages, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and we'll have some more videos for you uh, in the coming days. And even we've got one more coming tonight as well as a live stream. So there's also some other videos that are going to pop up on your screen if you want to catch some of our other tips and tricks uh, tutorials.